Hey, everybody. Trinfinite X here. With Star Fox 64. Played on the Wii Virtual Console. Message from General Pepper. Priority one. This is a classic game. We need your help, Star Fox. Andros has declared war. He's invaded the Lilat system and is trying to take over Corneria. Our army alone can't do the job. Hurry, Star Fox. This is a classic game full of fun, including running down hallways. All right. So I'm assuming most people know at least what this game is. Our four intrepid heroes are off to save the Lilat system. In their ships, the R-Wings. I would explain the plot, but here it is. Fourth planet of the Lilat system. The evil Andros turned this once thriving system into a wasteland of near extinction. General Pepper of the Cornerian army was successful in exiling this maniacal scientist to the barren, deserted planet, Venom. Five years later, General Pepper noticed strange activity coming from Venom. James McLeod, Pigma Dangar, and Peppy Hare of the Star Fox team were sent to investigate. Upon their arrival, Pigma betrayed the team, and James and Pepe were captured by Andros. Pepe barely escaped Venom and returned home to tell James' son, Fox, about his father's fate. A few years have passed. Andros has again invaded the Lilat system. General Pepper has turned to a new Star Fox team headed by Fox McCloud to save Corneria and free the Lilat system once again. Okay, so yeah, we're a bunch of mercenaries for hire. Here to save the Lilat system. This game is just amazing. It's really short, but like, A, voice acting from a Nintendo 64 era game. And B, uh, it's got some pretty good some pretty good uh, rail shooting action. Like, again, for a minute. It's about time you showed up, Fox. You're the only hope for our world. I'll do my best. Andros won't have his way with me. For an N64 game, this is. This is really. This is really good work like all around it's just a game it's simple it's fun open the wing well voice acted well animated for its time like this is some quality art right here check your heat diffuser system falco here i'm fine Falco here. I'm fine. Like, even the characters are pretty well written for what this game has. The story's pretty nice, even. If anything, the only thing you could ding it for is being too short and too simple, but... I mean... Otherwise, this is... This is pretty solid. I did not mean to press that button. And I am going into this basically blind. Blind in the sense that uh, I have played this before. You surely noticed all the medals I had on the main screen there. So I have mastered this game before, but I haven't played it in at least 10 years. So, this is a, let's see how well I remember this game, 
playthrough. Everybody stay alert. I'm really just doing this for fun, because I like this game. It's a lot of fun. Like I said, it's a classic. Oh, whoops. It's just lots of fun. You got an enemy on your tail. Use the brake. No. I will use somersault. Ah. He had more health than I thought. Ow. Ow. I'll take this one. Get the one behind me. Something's wrong with the G defuse. Use the boost to take There we go. Oh. Oh, there's still one on him. I guess I should be thankful. Okay. So I'm honestly not sure why Nintendo hasn't put out another uh, another another game like this. And when I say another game like this, I'm not talking about Star Fox Zero. Okay, so I could take the advanced path. I'm not going to. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. We have enough time. I'm gonna probably go through this a couple times. We have enough time to complete a couple of runs through this game. So I'm going to. I'm gonna explore the different routes and just have a good time. All range mode. Ah, so this is Star Fox. I'm going to crush you. I did take just a few minutes before the stream to quickly refresh myself on the controls, but otherwise I am Those who cross and drop will die. Otherwise I am blind going into this. Shoot, I'm taking damage. Wow. Aim for his back. I'm surprised his legs aren't gone already. Fire, you turn. There we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Took his legs out, and now he's pretty easy. You annoying little fly. No. No. I will not be defeated by this worm. My emperor, yes, you will. I failed you. We're heading out. All aircraft report. You did it. I was worried for a moment. You're becoming more like your father. I'm fine. You okay over there, Fox? Did I get the medal? Oh, uh, not quite. I think you need 100 for the medal. Maybe we'll get it next time. So I'm surprised he called them... I'm surprised he called them, uh, aircraft. Like, shouldn't it be spacecraft, though? Impressive, Star Fox. Now watch out for enemies in the asteroid field. I won't let you down, sir. Okay. So anyway, how's everybody else doing today? Ugh. This game kind of moves, you know, quickly. Like... The pacing is pretty fast, so I barely quit dinking around, Slip. <laughs> quit dinking around, Slip. We're heading into the asteroid. I feel like I barely had I barely had a chance to share my thoughts on the game, you know. But already, the game has started. Hey, 
and hey, Einstein, I'm on your side. already gotten reasonably far in, you know? Ugh. Game moves quick. It's quiet. Too quiet. It's quiet. Too Be careful, quiet. it's a trap! So I think here's a good place to use a bomb. Yep, there we go. That was a relatively wise use of a bomb, I think. Got us lots of hits. So... Real asteroid fields are nothing like this. If you know anything about space. You know that asteroids are actually soup are uh, spread out by dozens of kilometers. Ah, oh, I missed the crap. Yeah, like these asteroids, like packed all close together like this. This is not. This is not how a real asteroid field would be. No, I want a boost. Use the boost to get oh, okay, I'll listen to you this time. Incoming message for location confirmed. Watch out, Fox. Oh no, I missed I missed the supplies because of you guys. Urgh. Okay, so scoring uh, high points in this game. Is based around a combo system, so like your charge shot will lock on to things. On me. And you'll get extra hits based on how many you kill with the charge shot's splash damage. So, for example, it's a little tough sometimes to lock on to the correct enemy to get the full the full bonus sometimes the coming from behind. and once you lock on once you lock on you can't really relock because you has you have to fire Do a barrel, roll. barrel rolling well I guess it's your turn. it does what it looks like it does it deflects enemy shots this game is just so fun. It's got so many mechanics, like so many neat little little tricks and things you can do like that. Ah, these guys just suck. <laughs> like, I don't know of any other series that does this, really. You want a piece of me? Take that. At least not like this. Like, when I tried to think, like, how many other rail shooters are there out there like this that do... Hold A to charge your laser. Just now telling us about that. You can also on the enemies this way. How many, how many games actually do this, you know? Never give up. Trust your Let's see, can I get the warp? Oh, no, I missed the warp. No, okay. I was so close, though. I was so close. Almost had the warp. That's okay. I'm sure we'll see a warp at some point. I cannot allow you to go any further. Like I'm trying to even think of other rail shooters like like this game. I'm trying to think like I don't even think I know of any other games, but This is just a very unique experience for me. The only, yeah, I will say that aiming is a little bit interesting in this game, though. Good going, Buck. You're more I've ever you. Whoa! Yeah. Aiming is a little bit of a challenge in this game sometimes. But the game doesn't usually put too much pressure on you.
You're becoming more like your father, shooting me all the time. The game doesn't put so much pressure on you normally, uh, such that... No match for you. Dang, I can never get a word in edgewise. I admit defeat. That's the problem. I keep trying to say stuff and I keep sounding like an idiot because Are you gonna listen to that monkey? <laughs> You're not as stupid as you look. Cause they keep talking. Ugh. But yeah, anyway, normally there's not so much pressure on you that you can't uh evade and get a chance to aim anyway, even though the aiming's a little difficult sometimes. I can't believe I lost to this guy! I can believe you lost to me. Sorry to Jeff, but I'm in a hurry. Sorry to Jet, but I'm in a hurry. <laughs> All aircraft report. A hurry to become more like my father. Fine and fine. I saw my life flash before my eyes. You worry about your own hide. Hundred and eight. Eh, could have been better. All right. Okay, anyway, so, yeah, we'll just, we'll stick to the easy path and just show off the different levels here. Recover our base from the enemy army. Again, I'm just playing this for fun. This is just a break from Twilight Princess since Aurora can't be here today. Split up and take it to him. All right, so this mission is going to be the second time we get to see all range mode here. Again, I'm just I'm trying to think what other games do this. I don't think there are any, or at least not many. Like, the Star Fox series is actually the only series I can think of that actually does this kind of gameplay. The rail shooting and then, a, a, like, areas, and it's like a sci-fi theme. I'm trying to think of anything. Oh my gosh, he just ran right into the pillar there. That poor guy. Uh... I'll do a barrel roll after I save Peppy, hold on. Ah, oh, there he is, there he is. All right. Why are ships coming out of the base? Hey, bomb has been planted. Endorsty, how's it going? Jeez, can anyone take care of it? Jeez, can anyone take care of it? Let you do that. Andros has ordered us to take you down. Happy, long time no see. Andros' enemy is my enemy. Okay. Just what I need to see. Star Wolf. Enter Star Wolf. Let's take care of these guys first. The best comedic relief you could ever ask for. You they got me. We'll be seeing your dad soon, Fox. I hear I'm becoming more like him. I'm doing all right. Uh, I am taking a, I am taking a break from Twilight Princess 100% to have some fun with an old classic. Ugh. Sorry if I'm a little delayed on reading your uh, your message. Your message is endorsed, but you may you may know this game requires a little bit of concentration sometimes. It's kind of a fast-paced game. Gee, I've been saved by... I'm 
Aw, oh, crap. <laughs> I was hoping to catch them earlier on. I haven't played this game in so long. I'm having a blast, but it's definitely taking a second to remember. Oh man. Okay. All right. Sharp turn into these guys. There we go. Twilight Princess. Uh, it's the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Not a Zelda fan, huh? Just one left. Come on, let's hear it. Come on, come on. Uncle Andros! Uncle Andros! I'll take care of the bomb now. Ah, uh, okay. Was it a 3D Zelda or a 2D Zelda? You remember which one or? All aircraft report. Flipping ship is in the docking bay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 3D? Okay. That was a close call, Father. Anyway. So have you played uh have you played Star Fox 64 before then? I see. All right. So you're not familiar with this game then. Banjo-Kazooie, huh? All right, I was never really into Banjo Kazooie, but I did I I did sort of see it some growing up. All right. Well, we're basically a group of mercenaries uh, hired by the Cornarian army to save the Lilat system from the evil Andros. And his uh, and his army. Uh, basically, our our path to uh, Venom over there, where Andros is. I mean, you should be able to tell which planet's Venom, right? This one. <laughs> yeah, uh, our path to Venom is determined uh, based on how we perform in the missions and uh, whether or not we complete certain objectives. So, because we rescued the base, we are able to go to Solar in the middle path here. But I am deliberately going to change course and go to Sector X just to stay on the easy path. And this this game's pretty short. Like, it's really fun, but it's very short. So... I'm just going to kind of go through each of the stages. Reports indicate that Andros is working on some secret weapon. I'll check it out. And I'm just going to have fun relearning this game because it's been like a decade since I've played this. Do you know of any other games like this, uh, in Dorsey? Like rail shooters like this like I'm not choosing the path the path is predetermined Let's have a little fun. Let's see go ahead and use a bomb like like rail shooters where you're you're stuck on a path 
and you have to uh, shoot down enemies on your path. I'm trying to think of other games that are like Star Fox, and I actually kind of can't. Oh, you're an arcade player, huh? All right. Well, then, actually, you should probably enjoy this game. This game is uh, somewhat similar to an arcade game. It's dev. It has a. Uh, it has a high score. A high score thing. Like it definitely does have score. It's based on our hits. Like the more kills we get, the higher our score is. So. There are definitely a lot of similarities. Let's not get hit by this. What the heck is that? We're gonna go this way. I can't wait to see the secret weapon. Huh. So do you actively play video games uh, still today? Or or no, or is this Or is it kinda rare for you to play games? Like a warp. We got a potential warp coming up. Location confirmed. Sending supplies. Say okay. Let's see. Can I get this warp? Not without breaking. I think I need to break in order to get it. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Like the man, these gates really are stubborn. Yeah, okay. I didn't get the first one. That's what happened. Oh, well. Okay. What what sort of games do you play then? Is everything okay? Yeah, yeah, no problem. What the heck? Like, I mean, do you still play you still play arcade games? Is that is is that what it is? I mean, you say you say you played arcade games with your dad when you were younger. Like, do you still play them, or like what games do you play four times a week? Okay. Where is the creator? What's he saying? What's he saying? You are an enemy. Yippee! You did it! Yippee! We did it! Huh? What? That view is clear. Hmm. Destroy. Destroy. Ah, whoops. Destroy what? Destroy. He's crazy. He's crazy. Where is the enemy? Thought you said the view was clear. No, you mustn't. Tetris and Pac-Man is fun, but I usually play modern shooters or single-player games that rely heavily on the story. Hmm. Okay. Well, so if you're a Tetris player, if you're a Tetris player, then I assume you've uh, heard of like Tetris 99 on the Switch. Pac-Man. I'm not much into Pac-Man. Modern shooters or single player games. You heard of the Metroid series? Metroid Prime in particular?
Also, single player games that rely heavily on the story. Uh, in that case, uh, The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess might actually be right up your alley, because that game is very much dependent on its story. Um. So again, we're gonna change course and just stick to the easy path for now. <laughs> hmm, Star Falcon. Um, hmm. Uh, yeah, I mean, that is a pretty good, that is a pretty good name. You're right, Avalon. I don't know, I don't know about cooler than Star Fox, but it is pretty good. It's up there. You've heard of Metroid, but you've never tried it. Oh, does Sam Samus's armor looks weird to you, huh? Okay. What are you doing? It's too dangerous there. I can't leave Slippy hanging. Even though he was never knocked down here. Well, you should definitely give uh, the Metroid Prime series a try. Like, it it might look weird, but I promise you, it's it's a lot of fun. I've played I've played uh, a couple of the a couple of those games on this channel before. Uh, and oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh gosh, I barely remember this level. <laughs> Giving each other crap. Okay. These landmaster portions, in my opinion. are not exactly the best parts of the game, but they're okay. Are you okay? Uh, yeah, sort of. Use the boost to get through. These things can be killed. Right? I can destroy these l laser thingies. Yeah, okay, I can. Anyway, how's it going, Avalon? You having a good day? Yep, we are in a tank for this stage. Star Fox 64 likes to change, likes to, uh, likes to change things up a good bit. Ah, oh, dang it. So sometimes we're in a tank, sometimes sometimes we're in a ship, sometimes we're in space, sometimes we're on a planet. And there's a bunch of different objectives in these stages as well. Depending on what stage we're in. Again, sorry if my commentary just sort of breaks up randomly. It's just a matter of this game does require at, le at least a little bit of concentration to play because it's very fast paced. It's not something you can just slow down and talk about too much. It just had a weird ship flying close to the ground. No. Okay, pull together just a bit further. 
And the boss emerges. Let me get a piece of that action box. Gladly, Falco. Come on and join me. Take out his arms, box. Believe the best way to beat this boss was just to bomb it. I think that seriously weakens it. Oh yeah, that's right. He tries to sweep us with the tail. We jump over it. Come on. Got him. Yeah, every stage has a boss. And like I said, the stages are pretty short. That stage took like what? Five minutes? We're always saving your hide, Slip. I'm sure he's learned his lesson. When we get back, we'll head to Venom. This game has a pretty nice story. I mean, for what it is. But this game, I expect we'll be able to get a couple of runs in. Like all the way through the game several times, but through different courses uh, bef before I end at 9, so... This game has a great story. It's just, it's just short. And if you really want to experience the whole thing, you have to play the game multiple times because you have to go through all the different paths. So that's part of what, that's part of what holds, of what's supposed to hold your interest. If you destroy the satellite, we can go straight for Venom. Be careful, Fox. I'm on it. Grimlock. All right. The disco satellite. Okay, guys, destroy all barriers. Here we go. So in this stage. It's an all range mode stage, but the stage itself is actually moving. I'll cover you, Fox. Ah, also we can run into those. You're not getting away that easy. Your carcass is mine. Wow, Slippy Slippy's being vicious. He's going after carcasses as a frog. So even these enemy fighters are shielded right now, as long as these towers are up. Yep, we cannot break through. You are not taking him down today. Not. You're not getting away that easy. I won't let you get away from me. No getting away from Peppy. Play Goldeneye. Play Goldeneye on the GameCube. Yeah, I re I actually remember my cousins. My cousins had an N64, and they had a. Uh, they had Goldeneye for the N64, and I remember it was hard figuring out what to do next in the single player of that game. One more barrier left. I don't remember much about the combat. Like, it had a really great mo multiplayer, 
The force field is disappearing. But I don't actually remember very much about it. All right. So now lots of little guys. My wingmates are in perpetual danger because of course they are. I won't let you get away from me. I mean that's Yeah, I I do remember like I've seen I've seen the multiplayer for Goldeneye. Um so I I agree with you like but it's just that I never really got a chance to play it very much growing up, so I don't remember it very well. But I, what, what little I do remember of it, I do remember it being quite awesome. Okay. This is where things get a little tricky. The core has appeared. We have to take out the targets on the core. This is where Star Wolf would appear here if we didn't already destroy them. I have to rescue my allies here again. Let's go ahead and you turn here. The multiplayer, if you want some awesome multiplayer, this game is also a pretty good example. The N64 era games had really, really nice multiplayers. Ah. <laughs> you get out of mine, Falco! Oh, no! There's one down. Just one, huh? I won't let you get away from me. The more we shoot that core, the more lasers come out of it. Fox, get this guy off me. Ah. Come on. I can take care of myself, but taking care of my allies as well as... One there we go. Proving close. to be obnoxious. The core. Well, I'm working on it, Peppy. Calm down. Uh, I never got into into the into like the Ghost Recon series. Uh, that was just never my thing, man. Shooters were kind of 50-50 with me. Like, there's so many shooters out there. Ah. That one target left. Like, I got into Metroid, but not into Halo, because they were on different systems, you know? And, like, I never got into... Uh, I won't let you get away from me. The Tom Clancy games. But I did get into MechWarrior a long time ago. Obviously, not the most popular series, but I got into that. Like, I enjoy shooters, but... There's a lot of them out there. Especially nowadays, there's so many. Yeah, me too. There it is, there it is, there it is. Yes! There's that stupid target. Danny GL, how's it going? I'm doing well. Venom, here we Just come. taking a break from uh, Legend of Zelda: Twilight Princess 100% to have for to have some fun with uh, Star Fox 64. As for my favorite planet in this game, uh, hmm, that's a good question. Oh crap, I'm out of bombs. Uh. We're not done yet. Jeez. That's hard. That's a hard one to pick. I... Hmm. I don't know. They are everywhere. 
I'll be honest with you, Danny, I'm gonna have to think about that one for a second, and like... Honestly, now's not a time I can think. I have to focus. Uh... Earth Defense... Yeah, Earth Defense Force? I have seen some of the, uh... I have seen some Earth Defense Force, and, uh, it looks okay. If you don't mind giant insects. It looks like an okay series. Um, we're gonna go this way. I love that this game even has branching paths. A game like this with a branch with branching paths to keep it varied. It's such an excellent design design decision. Why can't why can't Nintendo have games like this nowadays? Like they've tried to re recreate Star Fox, but they were they've never been able to recreate it like this. Compared to all the other entries in the series, 64 is still probably the best one. Oh my gosh, though. Venom does have an awful lot of stuff in it, though. So, what's... So, Denny, have you played a lot of uh, Star Fox? What's, what's your favorite planet slash entry in the series? <laughs> Flying around Venom. Um, brings back memories of your dad. Oh, oh, hi, Andros. Want a bet? Oh no, yeah. That temple gives me the creep. Yeah, we're already at Venom. This is the last stage right here. We're about to fight the boss right before the actual boss and this guy sucks away. go for his legs now uh, uh, uh. oh my gosh tight tight very tight. No, come here. Come back here. No. I told you this game is pretty short, but you're supposed to play it multiple times because of the different paths. Never give up. Trust your instincts. Ah. Never give up. Trust your instincts. Oh, come on. Also, this boss music. Ah. Can we talk about how awesome this is? Are you okay? This game's soundtrack is phenomenal. Uh, Macbeth, huh? Yeah, the boss's voice is pretty good. Step on the gas. Star Fox, a Star Fox Assault was played Splinter Cell. No, no Call of Duty, no Splinter Cell, none of the Tom Clancy games. I tried Overwatch at one point, didn't like it, so it's clones like say Valorant and all that. Not into those. Yeah. Ow. Die just like your father. Uh, a really, really big dwarf, perhaps. 
aim at the eye, and eventually he'll get distracted by that. Oh, 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 that's, that's not an attack you see very often from him. For some reason, that actually works. Oh my gosh. Even though it kind of feels like it shouldn't. Like, how does that even distract him, really? I'm really trying to avoid having him use the ow, the suction attack, but then again, maybe I should be worried about that. Huh. Well, that's not good. I've been waiting for you, Star Fox. Ow. Oh, those can be shot. I didn't realize those could be shot. Not this time. Ugh. Well, at least if I was gonna die, it would be to Andros. Huh. Let's see if I can. That. Got him. I got this time I actually got one of the hands. Excellent. Come on, come on. Give me that hand. There we go, got it. Okay, now he's gonna start doing the suction. Turn to the side and mash. Get as much break as you can. And then there's the other way to deal with it that's even more hilarious. And then this is why I wonder, this right here, this is why I wonder, why did shooting the eye work if it was just a, a robot? Yeah, I, I love how if you shoot a bomb in his mouth, it, it's got this really cartoony reaction. Yeah, it's, he installed pain receptors into his eyes for some reason. Comes off as an intentional design flaw. Oh my gosh, you posted that just as I was saying it too. Man, we're kind of in sync today, Avalon. You did good, Fox. He wanted an authentic experience. I guess. But that was just a robot. That wasn't the real Andros, was it? Uh, are the credits unskippable? I think they might be. You know what? I'm fine with that, because that gives me a second to pause and A, run some ads, and B, maybe just get a second to actually chat with you guys. Yeah, we'll run some ads after the credits here. But yeah, that was Star Fox. That took about, what, 30 minutes? Ish, a little more.
You ever played Robots? Or Needs Need for Speed? No, I have not played uh, Need Need for Speed. As for Robots, uh, just Robots? Is that the whole title? Fair enough. This game is a nostalgia trip for me, to be fair. And a really fun one, too. Like, this is seriously back from an era when, like, things were different in the gaming industry. Very different. Yeah, no, I, I can't say that I've played that then. Yeah, this was one of my favorites. Carbuck, we are in your debt. I would be honored to have you as part of the Cornarian. Oh no, sir. We prefer doing things our own way. Great box is ready to go. It's time for us to go now. Also, in Dorsty, thank you for the follow. Wow, I didn't hear my alert go off. That's not comforting at all. My alert is, maybe alerts are broken? Or maybe I was just too caught up in the game when you did it. I don't know. But anyway, thank you for the follow. I'm sorry I'm so late saying that. I just didn't notice. Maybe I was concentrating when that happened. Mario Kart Double Dash! Yes, there we go, Endorsty. Now we have a game to talk about. I do play the Mario Kart series. Mario Kart Double Dash was... Uh... It was kind of, like... My memories of Double Dash are it was extremely fun to play with other people. But man, the computers cheated real hard. When it when you play, try to play single player and try to go for uh, lots, lots of really good runs on that game, like were ruined by blue shells. I was trying to get triple stars on every, you know, stage on the hardest difficulty, and it was just, like, so many freaking blue shells. The double dash comps cheated so much. Yeah, right around the GameCube era into the Wii era, that's when there started to get to be way too many games to play. Like, there's too many for me to play them all, you know? Because, this, because you know, that's when, like, Sony had put out the PlayStation, and then, like, Microsoft was like, hey, let's throw our hat in the ring with the Xbox as well. And then it was like, yeah, nobody has money for all these consoles and all the games on all these consoles. So there's bound to be a lot of games that we have in common and a lot that we don't. Because there's too many games to play them all nowadays. But at least I'm happy to hear we have Double Dash in common and the Mario Kart series. Yeah, kinda. Kinda, sorta. There are some pretty respectable Wii games, too, but... Man, the Wii U came out and it bombed pretty hard. The Switch is doing really well, but... I don't know. <laughs> it's It just seems like there are so many good classics, like the classic Zeldas, you know? Uh, Ocarina and Majora's Mask. Um, by the way... Uh, do you... Do you know about the, um, the R-Wing in Ocarina? Ocarina of Time has an R-Wing in it because Nintendo used the same engine to create Star Fox and, uh, Ocarina of Time. 
You stopped playing Mario Kart at Mario Kart Wii. Mario Kart Wii was pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I, I, do, I hear you, Avalon. Mario Kart definitely has that problem in single player. But actually, Avalon, if you ever get a Switch, I actually highly encourage you to get uh, Mario Kart 8. Like, play online with other people. It's it's kind of fun. I mean, it's it's a similar design philosophy to to Smash, you know? Like, with items. It's like they put items in the game to make it more chaotic and make it... L How shall I say? I don't want to say lower the skill ceiling so that, but in a sense, it kind of, it kind of ends up having that effect. But anyway, yeah, so there is a, a score system in this game. Like it's based on how many hits we get, how many kills, whether or not people died or whatever. Anyway, how about another run? But this time, let's take a different path. Wow. That does seem pretty extreme. But in Mario Kart 8, you, there is an item that lets you actually destroy blue shells if you time it well. The super horn lets you blow off blue shells. Corneria. This game, I think, was mostly revolutionary for a couple different things, but one of those things was definitely the voice acting. And what I mean by voice acting is this game had voice acting in an, in the N64 era. Most games did not have voice acting. It's about time you showed up, Fox. You're the only hope for our world. I'll do my best. Andros won't have his way with me. Good luck. Like, just trying to think back, I can't remember too many N64 games with voice acting. Like, full voice acting. Like this. A line here or there, maybe. But, everything? Check your G-Diffuser system. Did it? Banjo-Kazooie? Falco here. I'm fine. Hmm. That's right. Actually, yeah, I do remember it did have voice acting, didn't it? Or wait. Was that Banjo Kazooie I'm thinking of? Huh. I'm trying to I'm trying to remember. Trying to remember that game, and I don't remember very much about it, honestly. Oh, not really. Yeah, it's like, Whoa. did it though? We're entering Corneria City now. All right. First stage is pretty much always the same. Everybody stay alert. See if I can get the metal. I mean, probably not, but I can try, right? Get the one behind me. Something's 
wrong with the G defuse? So, the medals are based on score. You have to get... I guess yeah, I should there we go. Back. You have to get a certain uh, a certain number of kills, and you'll get a medal for the stage. If you look closely at my map, you'll see that I already have them, because a decade ago, I played this game and got it. But that was a decade ago. This time, let's take Sector Y. Gotcha! Incoming enemy from the rear, drop altitude. Incoming enemy from the rear, drop altitude. Enemy shield analyzed. Really? The original Banjo's one of you. You think that's the best platformer of all time, huh? Interesting. Avalon, did you also like? Did you play Sunshine? Did you play like? What 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 Mario games have you played? This level design is actually perfect, huh? Interesting. Well, you're giving it a lot of high praise there, Avalon. As a platformer. And I'm like, have you played Super Mario 64? Like, give me something to compare it to, because I don't know anything about it. Who are you guys? We're Star Fox. We're Star Fox. You'll never defeat Andros. I'm sorry. Some of these lines are just too, too awesome. They're too memorable. This game has some excellent one-liners. We're heading out. All aircraft report. Hmm. You did it. I was worried for a moment. You're becoming more like your father. I'm fine. You okay over there, Fox? What, you mean... Yeah. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. Maybe I'll have to look into it then. So the original Banjo Kazooie, right? But not Tui, not the not the sequel. Uh, yeah, I was about to say. I was about to say Super Mario 64 flying with the wing cap was not great. Huh. Okay. Fox, we're under attack. Help us out here. That's a series I can way. look into. Meanwhile, Sector Y. You didn't know it got a sequel. Oh well, okay. Endorsed it. Looks like you have something to something to something to go find later, huh? Shorter than you'd want it to be. Yeah. Back up the squadron. Somebody's gonna pay for all this. Oh, 
So, Gundams! Andros built some Gundams. And they slow the frame rate down horribly. By the power of Gundams, I will reduce your frame rate to nothing. Also, what are these ships? Ultra blocky. Ain't no way to hold that. Not without a bomb, anyway. Got to get a Nintendo 64, first of all. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, or see if it's re-released. Was Tui ever re-released for anything? Maybe as a collection? You could try that. Uh-oh. I missed the checkpoint. Oh, well. We'll go up. I'll take care of everything below. Oh, come on. That should have hit way more. That's not good. Missed a bunch of bomb shots. I don't think so. Ah. The enemies weren't close enough to get killed by Splash. Hey, leave me alone. I thought you said... Oh, Slippy, I thought you said they couldn't escape you, though. Also, my bombs don't seem to be hitting as many targets as I feel like they should be. Hey, Einstein, I'm on your side. Take him down with one shot. Einstein existed in this universe, did he? We're gonna break through that fleet. You're becoming a better pilot. Hey, what's the big idea? Location confirmed. Let's get those supplies. Um, GameCube. Yeah, that's true. The GameCube has a lot of good games. That's why I say you should come back and check out uh, tomorrow when I play uh, Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. If you're into story-heavy games... And it, and you're into GameCube games, then uh, Legend of Zelda: Twilight Princess is definitely something you should look at. Also, get Defender. Uh, is Defender the title of a game? I wouldn't be surprised, because I think I've heard of it before. I just don't recall exactly what it looks like. Oh, wrong buttons. Come on, come on. Oh my gosh, he's fast. Urgh. Gage, quit moving around. There we go. Don't party just yet. What type of game is it? Yeah. Exactly. What's Defender? So, I love this boss. <laughs> Let's just say he has some nice voice lines. Also, whoever this voice actor is, I like their accent. Cocky little freaks! Cocky little freaks! Gotta love this guy. Come on, come on. What's wrong? Is that it? Not at all. So, another thing about this game, 
you get higher bonuses if you kill the bosses faster. What's wrong? Is that it? So, like, you'll see a hit bonus pop out of this guy when I kill him, eventually. What's wrong? Is that it? Oh my gosh, he's hard to hit. There we go. So when he dies, you see hit plus 10 right there. But I think I think you can get hit plus 50 if you kill him quicker. So an old arcade game. It's a space flight simulator where you go around defending humans from aliens, trying to capture them, shooting down hordes of aliens, setting up defensive forces. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. A remake of an old arcade game. Well, you've already got endorsed these attention with that one. I'll have to look I'll have to look it up, Avalon. But for now, we got enough kills to go to Aquas. I want you to take out the enemy bio weapon. Yes, sir. Deploy the blue marine. Good luck. Hmm. All right, time to change gears and become a submarine. How is that different from being in an R-Wing? Well, not too different. Except that we have infinite torpedoes. I'm gonna check out the bio weapon. And you are basically encouraged to just spam your attack button. No, uh, Aurora could not be here tonight. That's why I'm doing this. Tomorrow we'll be back to uh, we'll be back to Twilight Princess. But she's busy tonight. I'm sending the data to you guys. Shoot a torpedo to help you see. Looks like the pollution has started. Pollution? You talking about all these enemies? Yeah. But the lighting would just be because we're deep, isn't it? Wouldn't it? Oh. Poor that poor uh, sea creature. It's just trying to swim across. Just, just trying to swim around. I thought you said it was awful just a second ago, Slippy. We blew him up. It is 7.47 where I am in Colorado. I'm on mountain time. <laughs> yeah, this stage can be tricky. I don't know if it's... I, I don't know if I'd say it's the hardest, though, Avalon. Like, there's... Definitely some things coming up that I think are definitely harder. Like Zonus, for example, is honestly one of the scariest stages in the game because it's so easy to get detected and not be able to make it to Sector Z. Fire! This game is, like, this stage is actually kind of fun because, like, Keep shooting. We've got lots of 
Because of what he just said right there. You have infinite shots. You just basically just keep mashing the fire buttons. Yeah, we heard you before. Uh. Exploding starfish. Ah. I got a bad feeling about this box. We're almost to the bio weapon. Uh, I don't know, man. I feel like Venom is a pretty decent example of a bullet hell. Also, Area Six. I found the bio weapon. Like, if you're looking for bullet hells, trust me, those later stages will satisfy. Okay. Here it comes. We gotta get rid of these things on the top first, or they'll keep spawning little enemies to come after us. I don't want to deal with that. Ah! It's also constantly trying to... Those little bubbles that are getting in the way are... Are there on purpose? They're there to stop our torpedoes. So getting rid of them or slowing them down would be good. There we go. We got rid of one of the columns. Yeah. Yeah, it does. There's very few stages. There's very few parts of this stage that ha that don't have. They don't have enemies on screen. You are very correct. Go for the eyes! Now we can finally deal damage. Again, I just love this boss music. It's hard to ask for a better soundtrack, really. Ah! It is, however. It would, however, be nice to not have to deal with this thing shooting pearls at me all day, or whatever those things are. Bubbles, pearls, I, don't, I can't tell. There we go. You did it. Got him. Ugh. Aquas is a giant mash fest, that's for sure. We're preparing to dock. Ooh. Thanks, Flip. Blue Marine came through. Flip is not such a screw up after all. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Peppy. I'll take the sky any day. Falco, you too. That's fair. That's true.
Okay, now here's what I consider to be the toughest stage, Zonus, because, like, anybody can play through Zonus and beat it, but, like, completing the objective of not getting spotted is stupid hard. Bloodborne, huh? I'm not really into Bloodborne. There's an enemy base there. So I don't Optimism. actually know that much about its soundtrack. Good luck. But I'm sure it's very different from this. I mean, I know enough about Bloodborne to know that it's not a sci-fi kind of futuristic game. Okay. This is a problem. I have only two bombs. Only two bombs. This is not good. Um. Because there's definitely. There's definitely some stuff coming up. There's definitely some stuff coming up where we're going to want a lot of bombs. Oh, you mean missing the bomb? We're closing in on them, Falco. Take the right way, boy. I have the left. Cat, what are you doing here? Is that any way to greet a girl? Okay, all right. So we can use bombs to kind of take some of the pressure off. Whoa, watch out. And that's kind of why I'm worried about having so little bombs, because there's a searchlight up ahead at one point that's, like, really hard to take out if you don't have a bomb. Ugh. Also, I never did run ads, did I? Crap. Oh, well. Wow. Early 1990s to 2000s video game writing. <laughs> they didn't quite know how to write female characters. Ugh. Ow. Oh, I got sucked into the water there. Is that the last of the searchlights? Enemy tanker. Cat is spelled differently in Swedish. Yeah, I could believe that. Are you from Indorsti? Are you from uh are you from Sweden? Is that where you're at right now? Ugh, ow. Running into walls. Arr. Enemy fighter spotted. Take him down. Uh oh. Oh, that was stupid. Yeah. Come on. Flying. Reacting. I think I managed to stay undetected. I don't see any more searchlights coming up anytime. These guys don't quit. Back off, Fox. You were too slow, Falco. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh, nope. Nope. More searchlights. Here we go. That was a close call, Fox. Oh, nope. Nope, we got through it. Some more health, and... 
Hey, we made it! I actually managed to not get spotted. Oh my gosh, I am so happy about that. <laughs> now here's a boss. I'll teach you some respect. Oh my gosh. So this boss can only be killed with bombs. Only bombs. So... Oh no, I lost a wing. Oh, come on, game. It's a good thing this is the bomb-only boss. So you have to shoot these cannonballs, and they will give you bombs. Ugh. And then you use the bombs to take out the to take out the boss. But the boss is always moving, so it's not super easy. Yes. It's not exactly easy to uh, to simply get rid of him because he's always moving around. So I'm trying to get. We have to kill these. So we have to kill these things on the top. Those little tubes that are coming out of the top there. We have to kill those. But I am having difficulties. Actually hitting them. Yeah, that's what I've been trying to do. Oh my gosh, do I have to... Yeah, they're invincible to laser shots. I'm trying. Okay, now, come on, game. Give me bombs. I swear I'm shooting these things, and they're just not giving me bombs. I'm trying. There we go, come on. This boss is annoying. Oh my gosh, he's gonna go down there again. Ugh. Yeah, I know, that's the problem. Oh, uh, yeah, I think I'm in trouble now. Oh, of course, and I missed. I'm like, how dead on do I have to be? Oh my gosh, that's crazy. I should be dead right now. Oh, this guy's. Oh, whoa. You're not leaving yet. Yeah, okay. Oh, look, health! Hey guys, thanks for watching. This is where most people tell you to like, comment, and subscribe. And while I would appreciate you doing all that, if you enjoyed my content, come check me out on Twitch at twitch.tv slash trinfinitex so you can watch and chat with me while I make these. I'm a family-friendly streamer, so everybody's welcome. Throw me a follow on Twitch and Twitter so you can get notifications when I go live. Links will be down in the description. Have a wonderful day, and I look forward to meeting you.